with Zack Snyder's director's cut of Justice League coming out Thursday. Let's talk about the film that started it all with Man of Steel. Welcome back to my channel. This is Let's Be Real with Brad. I talk about movies, TV shows, and do all sorts of fun and exciting videos on the channel. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video as it would be gladly appreciated. Man of Steel is directed by Zack Snyder, the first film in the DC Extended Universe. It stars Henry Cavill as Superman, Amy Adams, Russell Crowe, Diana Lane, Michael Shannon, and Kevin Costner. I hadn't watched this film since I watched it on DVD when I was 15 years old. Now that I've watched it for a second time in HD, I thought this was a mediocre movie. This film has been very divisive with fans alike with some people even calling it a masterpiece or being one of the best superhero movies ever but for me I'm not so sure about that. So, let's dive right into the positives starting with the performances. Henry Cavill is excellent as Superman. He is the perfect choice to play him who can fulfill everything that we love and cherish about Superman. He has the charm, likability, and strong masculinity to him that shines on the screen. Michael Shannon plays General Zod and he is also great in the movie. Michael Shannon is simply a wonderful actor who is very good at playing a villainous character. Everyone else is good in the film. The story is decent being our first Superman origin story since the original film. They changed its structure which I thought was a great choice that felt very fresh and different. I also enjoyed the darker tone this film presents that features a very controversial dark ending that I thought was awesome and very surprising, but I also welcomed it with open arms. This movie isn't really about hope and what someone could do to make a better world like in the previous Superman films. It is about destruction, terror, and showing the harm that something out of this world can do which I found it to be a very dark and exciting theme. Now let's get into the negatives starting with the action. As much as the action itself is incredible having the very best action in a Superman film, this is a significant upgrade from those original films because as much as they are great, they definitely lacked in the action department. But the most significant difference is at least with the first two films, those films focus more on their story than the action. The last hour of this movie is non-stop fighting throughout. It is very entertaining in many sections of it, but this could have been so much shorter, feeling like it went on forever. Halfway through, I became utterly bored of Superman and Zod's henchmen, throwing each other into buildings every other second. The studio executives were probably like, hey, I know the fans want tons of action even if it affects the story so let's see how much destruction we can cause. Sound good? The subsequent criticism is the visual effects. This movie has some fantastic visual effects especially with many of the action scenes and Superman flying but many sections of this movie show that the CGI doesn't look all that great. The Avengers came out a year before and had way better special effects with a slightly smaller budget. So I think there's no excuse for this movie. Also, the product placement was terrible with all these different brands showing up with even a fight landing in an IHOP for crying out loud. I also don't really enjoy this film's cinematography as it is a very bleak and dark movie. But the problem is, it isn't visually attractive. I think Batman v Superman looks a lot better, which was a significant improvement Snyder took into that film. My last negative is the writing. As much as I think this is a decent origin story with the first half being an excellent superhero movie that I really love, if the story aspects went on for much longer and took more time developing Zod to bring it all together for a big action fight, then I'm all for it. But the film takes away the story and I just didn't care for it. I know many people will not care about this criticism because all they want to see is Superman fighting and smashing buildings for a whole hour. Then 
kudos to you. Overall, this is a mediocre movie that I think will please many Superman slash superhero fans. It has all the right ingredients to tell an origin story with Henry Cavill being fantastic as Superman. I enjoy the action being over the top and crazy, but not in service of taking from the story. There were many things I enjoyed more on the second watch, but also a lot more glaring criticisms along with it. I am giving Man of Steel a 5 out of 10. So, have you seen Man of Steel? And if you have, what do you think of the film? And where does it rank in your DCEU ranking? Tomorrow, I will be reviewing the sequel with Batman v Superman, so be sure to check it out. As always, I will see you all in the following video.